Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Bodino and I'm co-owner of this lovely shop with my wonderful wife, Michelle Bodino, who's not behind the camera today, it's Habibi behind the camera. Yes, he just said hello. So um, today I am going to show just one violin to Tina. Um, Tina is in Tasmania and you know Australia is a big continent and there's little Tasmania down the bottom and it's separated and so she doesn't get to um, come over here as easily and try violins and so I'm going to show her by this magical thing called the internet. So, but she was very interested in finding out about the what I call the Gliga Professional Violin and Habibi is going to zoom in a little bit and show you what a Gliga Professional Violin looks like it actually has a few names. Gliga Professional Violins go by the name Gliga Professional and Gliga Vasile and Gliga Vasile II. It's very confusing. But the way it goes in Australia with Gligas is it goes Gliga III is the starting model, which uses European woods, but reasonably basic European woods. And then it moves up to Gliga II, which is a million times better. And then Gliga I, which is better wood, better workmanship, um, more layers of very fine varnish and makes it sound a lot better as well. And then Gliga Professional, which is a bit of a step up again. And it's quite different actually. The step between Gliga 1 and Gliga Professional is quite big in that they use similar varnishing system, but at the end they sort of highly polish it. So where the Gliga 3, 2 and 1 are sort of like matte finish violins, this Gliga Professional is a little bit more sort of glossy looking. But very beautiful and very beautiful wood. Mm, and I really like them. So with this Gliga Professional, as with all of our violins, I have made all the parts for it. Um, Habibi can even zoom in and show you, this is a bridge carved by Richard Bodina. Genius. And um, it has new tonica strings on there and it has a new sound post inside. I throw out the original sound post, which is not so good quality wood, make a new one and fit it perfectly so that it transfers the vibrations from the front to the back more easily and makes a better, fuller, more balanced sound. So I do all of those things, but um, she is interested to know whether this is going to be a good violin for advancing. And I'm going to give it a bit of a play and tell her what I think. And then you can comment below and tell her what you think as well. I'm saying this violin is too small for me. Now, um, I would say that that has a beautiful, warm, mellow sound, which rings quite nicely. There's very relaxed sound. I wouldn't say it is the loudest violin in the world. Generally, as you go up in the models of the Gligas, they become louder and more open. I would say it's more open sounding than the Gliga 1, 2 and 3 but not necessarily enormously more powerful. There are other violins that we have that are more powerful, like the Strunas and the Regettis and that sort of thing. But this is sort of like a, a nice, very solid sound, which responds really beautifully. So it is a beautiful violin. It's made in the workshops of Vasil Gliga. The other thing about the Gliga violins is once you get up to the higher models, they Vasil Gliga has more, um, association with that particular violin so it is has become a big workshop because um, Gleig is a very popular throughout the world but he has more input into the higher models so there you go please tell um, Tina down below whether she should buy this particular violin thank you for watching goodbye <laughs>